in this lecture we will learn about what is known as producer consumer problem okay so we will learn about producer and consumer problem and what it means is that you have a buffer okay so this is basically a buffer okay and let's say you can have five items in it okay so this is a queue in which you can store five items at a time there is a producer a person or a thread which produces items then there are consumers which consumes item okay so a person a producer will come and let's say in this queue he will put some item item 1 he might put item 2 3 then what happens now a consumer comes he checks is there any item in the queue if the queue is not empty he can take one of the items okay so he takes down the item again what happens producer produces he gets 3 item 4 he produces 5 6 now he wants to produce the seventh item but the queue is full its capacity is full so he cannot produce and now he has to wait so when queue is full so he has to wait for consumer to come and consume some item so that some space is made empty okay so c comes the consumer and let's say he consumes three items okay and then what happens is again the producer produces sixth seventh item eighth item okay now what happens again the consumer comes he consumes items all the items now he wants more but what happens now consumer has to wait and why he has to wait because the queue is empty and from empty queue you cannot consume anything so again he will be waiting and till when he will wait till a producer comes and produces something 9 10 11 12 13 something like this he produces these so when he produces the first item now consumer can consume it so this is the thing that will keep on happening so there will be queue so in our case here we will see a producer so two things are there so we will have two threads we will have two threads one will be the producer another one will be the consumer okay and producer will be producing till the queue is full okay and when the queue is full he will be waiting and he will wait till a consumer consumes an item and there is some a space where he can again insert items consumer consumes item till queue is not empty so queue is not empty and when the queue becomes empty so he again waits for the producer okay to put something in the queue so this is the basic idea and that we will look into with the help of our producer consumer problem we will be using threads okay so the thread will be both the producer and we will have a consumer thread two threads are there then we will have this queue as a vector class in which there will be some maximum capacity for the queue and we will have the wait and notify methods wait is a blocking call if the queue is empty then the consumer will be waiting for the producer to produce something if the queue is full producer will be waiting for the consumer okay so these are the basic idea and now we will look at the code okay so this is the basic code we have the producer consumer problem we have a vector so here we have the queue 
the shared queue which is shared between the producer and the consumer we have the maximum size we have taken it as 4 so now thread the producer thread is there and then we have a consumer thread so these are two threads and we now have runnable interface to we implement runnable interface for producer and consumer and their thread names are producer and consumer then we start the producer thread and the consumer thread now what happens let's see at the producer class okay so let's see so we have here the first the producer class so producer is a thread okay so producer so this how we implement we use the runnable interface to give the job to the producer so the producer now works on that queue and so it has the queue and the size of the queue now we initialize the queue and the size with the queue shared queue we have run method that we override so this is the run method and it's quite important so what it does our producer produces here so it in a loop it is going to produce items so producer says that okay he is trying to insert item ith item he will start from zero and then he produces that item we put it in a try catch block because that produce might get interrupted okay so this is there so now let's see what happens so produce we have and produce i so what it checks so producer thread comes there is your queue he checks if the size of the queue is full okay if the queue is full he cannot insert the item so what happens there is a synchronized block okay so synchronized keyword is important synchronized which means and it is synchronized on this shared queue variable okay it means what this shared queue so this part of the code can now be accessed only by one of the thread at a time okay so if multiple threads are trying to act on this shared queue variable then only one of them will get a chance so here what happens if the queue is full it will say the queue is full and it will print its thread name and it says it is waiting and now what will it do so it will wait so the producer came it saw that all the items were it was full so that it could not insert any item so now it goes into the wait state okay so wait state when it goes it means what now it is waiting so it's waiting whenever someone will reply it okay so it's waiting and now it's waiting for what the consumer so when you are a thread and it's waiting so what happens it relinquishes the cpu so now other thread can come here and work on the queue so this is now this lock is taken and this queue is now is can be taken by other this lock can be taken by others so what happens now what is expected that a consumer will come and it will consume something so that some space is created so let's look at the code of the consumer so we have the consumer here and it says that in the run it is waiting in an infinite loop and it says that consumed element it sleeps for some time so what happens it is saying that consuming element and then sleeps for some time and then what happens it falls the method consume so then what it checks so let's see this function consume is there so consume it says that if the queue is empty of course you cannot take anything out and so we have to check the other part okay so the queue is empty so we don't need to do anything now we need to check here so 
consume so what happens if the queue is not empty it will not go here it will come out to this part the synchronized block it will say that okay so it will be now removing that element and then it will be notifying all of them okay that I have removed one element from the queue and then it will be notified so in fact this should be there okay so we can have this remove first and then notify but even if you don't have this we have notifying and then we are removing then also it's fine because we are in the synchronized block so until we come out of the synchronized block even after notifying they will not be coming okay this will only wake up the threads and they will now be trying to go into the synchronized block okay the locked mutual exclusive part of the code so and let's see when this will happen so while the queue is empty if there is a consumer it comes and it finds that the queue is empty so what will it do it will now go into the it is saying queue is empty now it is waiting for an element and it will now be waiting and it will be waiting and where will now it be waiting and a producer will come it sees that okay the queue is not full it produces something so when it produces something then what happens it should insert item and it should notify okay and when it is notified that consumer will also get the notification and it can now end its wait here and it will remove it from the queue okay so this happens and just let's look at this part of the code also so we have here queue in this queue it is getting added queue dot add and then it is notifying all that okay i have added in the queue so this is the basic idea about the producer consumer problem i hope you understand so the most important concepts were we were having a shared queue in that we had a producer thread a consumer a consumer thread and they were synchronized using wait and notify so these are the things and when the queue was full so producer was waiting okay and there was we were using synchronized so this keyword was used for synchronized block and the variable was the shared queue okay so shared queue was the variable the lock on which they were waiting so i hope you understand this if you like this video please share it among your friends thanks a lot okay so we will now try to run this code and see what happens okay so we are running this and now let's see the output so let's see what happens so here you see producer so we will see so producer trying to insert item 0 okay so producer now there is a queue so producer is trying to insert item 0 q and now what happens at the same time so q is empty consumer is waiting so a q a consumer thread also comes and it finds at the same time that the q is empty so now it goes into the wait state producer trying to insert item 1 okay and then what happens this comes and producer now it had inserted the first item now it inserts trying to insert the second item and then what happens consumer consumes element 0 now producer comes and it inserts item 2 item 3 item 4 and item 5 now what happens q is full okay because item 1 2 3 4 5 were there and the queue becomes full so now the producer will be waiting 
for the consumer to consume item so consuming element 1 so when element 1 goes producer will now try to because it gets a notify method call so it will insert item 6 here and again it tries to insert th something more so q becomes full and it is now waiting for another okay so what happens this consumer now comes and it consumes element 2 so producer can now insert item 7 here again the q becomes full and producer when trying to insert 8 q is full so element 3 is consumed and so on it goes okay so this was about producer consumer problems i hope you understand it thanks a lot